good evening and welcome to All About Sport, live from the top of the town studios, Conley Street Cavan, on your local cav channel, cavantv.com. Each week we will continue to include a wide variety of sport from all around County Cavan. If you would like your sport featured on All About Sport, simply contact drumlinmedia at gmail.com. This show will be live on the internet on cavantv.com every Wednesday evening at 7pm. First up, I am joined by Susan Mulligan and Lorraine O'Neill, who are here to talk to us about Lack and GFC's fundraiser for cystic fibrosis. So ladies, you're both very, very welcome to the show. Thank you for taking the time to come in and talk to me. Um, Lorraine, I'll come to you first. Um, run DMC for CF, something very close to your heart. I know your daughter, um, Mia, um, suffers from cystic fibrosis. Tell us a little bit about your inspiration and your reasons for coming up with this little uh, Run DMC. Little. <laughs> <laughs> um, one DMC came about when um, um, me got sick last year and um, she was in Cavan General and she took an infection and um, I started to think more and more about like, how Cavan need facilities like and we all do as, as Cavan branch see us cystic fibrosis we think about it all the time you know so um, a friend of mine done a marathon for us, did Dublin City Marathon last year for us, for CF. And I thought, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so I said it to a few girls and they laughed at me and they said, you're going to do a marathon? No way. So I said, yes, I am. And you know when you get stubborn and you say, this is going to happen. So I mentioned it to a few girls with the do it with me and they did. And then the next thing we put it on Facebook. And before we knew it, we had 40 people wanting to do it for us. So Run DMC is Run Dublin Marathon Challenge for CF. But yeah. that's how it started. Very simple. Yeah, it's very catchy, the Run DMC. Yeah. I mean, I've definitely heard... Well, it's a band. Well, Run DMC well, I, is a band. <laughs> I Run DMC. But, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, like, I mean, definitely, it's it's got a good ring to it. And y you were saying, um, Lorraine, you know, the outpatient facility in Cavan General, that's your aim, is to raise money for, to have a facility in Cavan. So you've round up all your friends and family and all the Lacken players. Anybody that I've done anything for. Yeah. And you were involved in the Strictly Come Dancing as well. So, yeah, and I had the uh, pleasure of judging you, seeing you um, gracefully dancing around the stage that night. Yeah, yeah, great. So have you roped in a lot of people um, that took part in that as well? Yeah, I have. I have to say I'm very lucky. A roughly yeah, very good friend. How many people have you got so far? Um, I have 68 names right. down. Um, a lot of people from Cavan that are not living in Cavan are training in um, Dublin, Limerick. Tullamore, you know, different areas. I've actually two in England running. Um, so friends just fr from, friends from afar, family, do you know, I have family running. Um, anybody that I could rope in that, that, could, that could do it. You know, yeah. and there's loads of people that have said to me, oh, I always wanted to run a marathon. Yeah. So and, they're, and now they're doing it. Um, Susan, we'll come to you. Um, the event is coming up um, this Friday, the 29th. And it's in conjunction with the Run DMC for cystic fibrosis. Um, and it's taking place at Lack and GFC. Tell us a bit about what's happening on Friday. Well, we're having a fun run, run, jog, walk, whatever you want to do. And it's taking place this Friday, she said, the 29th of Jan July, J June, June. Um, from Lack and GFC. And we're going, it's by 5.5k. Right, so it's not too it's bad. Not too yeah. bad. It's handy enough. I mean, in, in comparison, what they'll be doing in the Dublin Marathon is twenty six miles. Yeah, twenty six yeah. miles. So this is this is like a taste. This is dipping your toe into is, yeah. a, a taster of a, a run or a job. A job. Yeah. And um, so that's on Friday, five and a half k. Yeah. So tell us, registration is taking place. Registration is taking place from seven o'clock until about twenty five past seven because we want to get going at seven sharp. You know. Uh, because we know people have other commitments and so there's a lot of these ones going along and um, we know people have other commitments and they want to get going so we yeah. don't want to be holding them all evening either so yeah. we want to kind of get going sharp at seven um, yeah. and we have lots of stewards volunteers helping along the way um, nobody can get lost yeah <laughs> we don't want any of that <laughs> so you have lots of um, volunteers are they Local or from the all club? Local, yeah, mm. all local people. So they're giving up their time for this, Absolutely, which is... Absolutely, and no problem. Anybody we asked, no problem at all. That's yeah. lacking people for you. Yeah. Um, you're saying Lacken has been affected by CF and um, there's been a history of it in the area. So I suppose it's something that is very uh, prominent and, and 
means a lot to you and you really want the money. And um, so it's ten euro for an individual. Yeah. And for a family can take twenty part. euro. Whatever people can give. You know, yeah. we're not as Lorraine had said, we're not taking money out of people's pockets or anything. Whatever people can give. Uh, you know, we know times are very very tough. Yeah. You know, and whatever they can give. Yeah. And that's all to do with Run DMC. Like, it, there's going to be an awful lot of different events, and you could be hitting the same people all the time. And it's, what, do you know, give whatever. Yeah. It's not. It's it's you know, and it every, every little, little helps. helps. There's a yeah. Tesco. To, yeah. It's a good jingle. But it is. Every little helps, and every yeah. euro helps. Yeah. And you know, if you yeah. want to come, just come for the crack. Give what you can. Yeah. Come. So you were saying you're kind of hoping that you know there's roughly forty people or more taking part in the marathon yeah approximately uh, you'd hope they'd raise a thousand euro is that kind of the, the it's it's an ask and it's a name yeah. you know some will some will take in more some some girls will bring in more some lads will bring in more some they might take in less it, it doesn't matter it's an ask it's a name mm-hmm. you know but that's what that's what we've kind of said we'll go we'll, we'll go with the more money we can you know get into calf in general the quicker we will have a facility in it um we're aiming to get, in the long run, we're aiming to get outpatients and inpatients facilities in Cavan. We don't have any. We don't have any facilities. And where we have, you know, great paediatricians and doctors and nurses and staff in Cavan in general, yeah. and they, they, have, they do everything in their power to help us. We don't have facilities. And as a CF sufferer, you know, you're very, you, you pick up infections very easy. So you need your own rooms. You need, you need to be away from other patients. And you're saying there is a lot of people in the Cavan area have cystic fibrosis, so you, yeah. you know, it's really here they need the the unit yeah. more than anywhere. It would be vital to have it here. Um, so you, there's lots of different events coming up, but just to tell you all at home, just to remind you that this Friday, you know, get down to Lack and GFC, and if you can't make it, spread the word to others who c- could maybe you know um, join in and. It, to raise this money for cystic fibrosis for a, an excellent cause and the money will stay in Cavan. It's it's for to get the unit, a cystic fibrosis unit in Cavan. And also if you want to get involved and take part in the, the Dublin Marathon um in October. It's October girls, is it? Yeah, yeah. we'll get that out in the 29th. Is it of October at Bank October. Holiday Weekend? Monday, yeah. So if you, anyone fun. out there wants to <laughs> join these very committed ladies and the team from Lacken, um, any clubs around Cavan or anyone you know who's interested, get involved and get down to Lacken GFC. And we'll just we'll chat about the training you're saying. You're trying to get me. They're trying to get me roped into this now. I, I mean, <laughs> I, I, I'm all on for a good cause. Um, it's the fitness is what, I, what worries me. But you've got excellent trainers yeah. Um, James Murray and Peter Walsh and you've also physios Ian Riley and Kira O'Malley you know it's brilliant you have um, great sports people mm. involved and helping you out tell us about the training how's that going training's going brilliant I have to say um, like if you had said to me this time last year Susan you would have ran 18k last night I would have laughed at you you know there's no way I would have yeah. been able to do it last night I went out and I did it yeah. um, and this is June you know, come October, like if I'm not ready for a marathon mm. by then, I'll never be ready. You must but be a really um, great sense of fulfillment thinking. I'm after doing eight and get, I couldn't even get off the, maybe the couch or walk down yeah. the street. Yeah, when I started first, I did about two laps of breath new pitch training pitch mm. that was it when I started first you're saying James Murray he's very he's big into marathons and, yeah. and this type of training so <coughs> you know he's um, a strength and conditioning co- coach and then Peter Walsh is a marathon runner so you really have yeah. um you know the best people helping you out oh they're great yeah. they're tough but they're, they're good like you know you're very have encouraging to have to have. as well yeah, yeah. You know. which is great so the Dublin yeah. um uh, city marathon is on on the 29th of October and if you're thinking, you know, I want to get involved or I've been thinking about doing a marathon, well, we have a cause, you know, right here that you can get involved with for cystic fibrosis. Um, do you have an um, email or a contact, Lorraine, that anyone yeah. if they want to get in touch? Yeah, anybody can contact me. Um, they can email me on Calvin Cystic Fibrosis at gmail.com. Okay. They can email me. They can find us on Facebook or on Facebook or they can find me in time. <laughs> <laughs> they can get you right time. <laughs> yeah. Look, I want to see you in town. Bethany Park, Bethany Park, Tuesday and Thursday evening, 6 o'clock. Everybody is more than welcome. Come. I was yeah. on the couch. I started from the couch. Yeah. 21st of February. you done two laps. I couldn't do one round Breffney the 21st yeah. of February. <laughs> So, so there's, there's hope yeah, for anyone. Yeah. Anybody can do it. Okay, that's great. Well, look, we hope that um, Mia's health, you know, uh, improves. And she's, how old is she? Mia's four now in July. Mia's very good. Mia's very healthy. Like, she's a very healthy 
healthy CF, like, thank God. Yeah, so, t- you know, touch wood that, you mm-hmm. know, the, the money will be raised and, you know, we'll have our fingers crossed that we'll get this facility uh, sooner rather than later. But mm-hmm. Lorraine and Susan, thank you so much for coming thank in this evening. Much. And mm-hmm. it's great to hear that you're using sport and putting it towards such a good cause. And best of luck with it. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thank you. Um, so if you stay with us, we're going to go to some ad breaks and stay up next where we talk to the Cavan Ladies Camogie team. up I am joined by the Cavan Ladies Camogie Ulster Junior Champions. Their manager Tom Walsh, selector and trainer Philip Brady and two of their players Nicola Collins and Jenny O'Rourke have joined me this evening. So you're all very welcome to the show. Thank you for taking time to come in and tell us about um, your journey so far. So Tom you're the manager and only new to the team in February so you took on these uh, bunch of quiet ladies I'm sure. How have things changed in the team since you came on board? Um, Philip and myself took um, took over the team at the end of February, and there was unfortunately there was a couple of league games that were coming up very quick, and we hadn't time to do much work with them in the first two league games, and we got beaten in both of them. Then we had a get together before and trained hard for the Wicklow game, which we won, and then the Ulster Championship came up, and we had a few challenge games in Kildare and in Mead, and we won all those and things started to fall into place and we had a good win over Monaghan in the first round of the Ulster Championship and we beat the Armagh second team in the, the final who won the All-Ireland C uh, minor last year and some of the team that won the All-Ireland minor C this year so it was, it was a good progression um, girls work very very hard a um, lot of new girls in a lot of young girls in um, they've trained as hard as any team that I've ever been involved with mm-hmm. they've Philip has had him in excellent condition on uh, for the final, and next week starts another chapter in our year, where we play the first round of the All Ireland series, and we play Monaghan again in the first round. That's next Saturday. That's, that's next it. Saturday. In, <coughs> excuse me, in Stirling. So we'll go take it from there. Then we have Dublin the week after. 
you're going into the big guns again. Uh, you've played the likes of Offaly, you've Westmead to play, and we end up for our final game against Tyrone. Um, four out of the six teams qualify. We would be very, very disappointed if we're not uh, shooting for honours in yeah. this year's All Ireland series. So you're going to really um, push the girls to their limits. And um, we'll come to you, thank you, Tom. We'll come to you next, Philip. You know, there's a panel of 28 girls, you know, spread from all across different parts of Cavan. A mix of you know very well experienced girls and very you know young and upcoming talented young players, and um, you're one of the selectors and trainers. You I suppose you took a chance with the RMI game. You started with ten girls who'd maybe never played in a championship, um, but it paid off. Yeah, thankfully. Um, no, they're they're very good. The young ones that come in have really gel into the panel. You know the older girls are very good with them. Um, been involved in a few other teams and they don't usually mix as well as this team have but the girls are very committed every <coughs> one of them and uh, we had no fear uh, throwing any girls into the, the fire last week but any girl who went in done very well they really stepped up to the challenge yeah. um, and it was a fast paced game you know Cavan got off to a flying start you know did you think from the start that they you know the girls had it in the bag or you know was there any doubt in your mind no uh, I suppose the first 10 minutes wasn't too bad but then our mass started to get a hold on the game and I didn't know what way it was going to go but uh, we got a goal at about 15 minutes into the first half and from then on the girls started to play and we sort of knew that we were going to be there or thereabouts at the end and the second half they just they played above themselves a lot of the girls but we still have a long way to go still a lot of progression to do for some of the girls and some of them weren't happy with the performances but They've yeah. a lot of matches left during the year, so hopefully. Yourself and Marie Brady are involved in the selection panel. Ha I'll say hi to Marie, who would not come in and join us this <laughs> evening. I'll get her again, I'll have her in here. Um, but uh, what would you say you've learned, you know, from the, the games so far and, you know, it will help you improve for the next round? Uh, we sort of know how good each girl is individually, where their strengths is and, you know, their best positions. A lot of girls that if you just move them out of position, a small bit you think that to be able to get into the the game but no they, yeah. there really is only one position for a lot of girls and we sort of know who the best team is at the minute but every week different girls starts playing better and some girls dip in form and really whoever is the best form plays the game yeah. that's the they way we do it all year yeah it's <coughs> not who you are it's how good you are yeah. and that's and the way it is being all year and that's the way it's going to be yeah well um so nicola and jenny you're uh, both play with lara and you've been very successful and dominated um the underage scene um in camogie and um, you know how do you like being part of the cabin panel nicola yeah i mean it's it is tough like training is very tough and philip here loves his running but uh you know it is tough but it definitely i think as a group we get on extremely well together and you know, it's always Because you all play against, strength. that's the thing, you play against each other yeah. at club level and then to to gel as, as you know, the county Yeah, team. exactly, yeah, like even last Sunday we were playing against Baylor and Tina Riley was playing and then Monday we were training and we were training with her, like, but that's what happens and, you know, we get on really well as a team, so it's definitely a good thing. And Jenny, how do you <coughs> uh, like the training? Do you find it tough or yeah, what position tough, do like you play, Jenny? I play at full back. Full back. Yeah. So no, nothing getting past you. I know. <laughs> determined. You have to be determined to be on that back line. <laughs> yeah, uh, I know. The training is tough, but it's good crack at the same time. Like Philip does have the crack with us and all. Like it's not just, you know, you don't hate going to training. I do enjoy going yeah. to training. Like, you know, we all do and we all get on up well. Like, I think at this level, you know, it's you want to be there and that's yeah, yeah exactly. You know, the, the, the most important thing. Um, and um, Tom, you know, What's your kind of thoughts, you know, for Camogie? You know, Camogie's very strong in Cavan. Um, where do you see, what future do you see for the girls and for this particular team? Well, the, the sky's the limit with these girls. <laughs> this is a very young side. We have a few older girls in it, like uh, Rosie Crow and um, Red McCabe and uh, maybe Breach Boylan. But the rest of the girls are only 90, uh, some of them, 18, 17, 18, 19, 20, they're a very, very young side, yeah. if they stick together. And they keep taking the advice that they're being given. Um, and like, Philip, as I said earlier, is doing a fantastic job. He varies the training with them. 
he'll take on board what I want to get done on the, on the skills end of it and he'll do all the physical stuff with them. And we have a good mixture and the girls are learning <coughs> the whole time. Um, it's not beyond the po- bounds of possibility that um, they would, could shake the win the All-Ireland this year. Now, yeah. they went up two years ago for some reason, I don't know why. Um, there's teams that finished above them in the league. Like yeah. uh, last, last year, Wicklow won the All-Ireland Junior B. Yeah. I see this year's team in the All Ireland Junior B. Carlo are in the All Ireland Junior B. Um, they're punching like, and we're in the All Ireland Junior A. Now Carlo went to the division, uh, the final of the National League that we were in this year. Unfortunately, we didn't get to play them. Well, in the circumstances beyond our control, the game wasn't played. But um, we're shooting. We're probably shooting above our uh, playing above our weight. But the girls are learning and they're, uh, they're training very very hard. They want to improve. Um, we've no such thing as a team of 15 it's a yeah. panel as we have and we don't I don't care or Philip doesn't care or Marie doesn't care what club they're from if it's Lacken Lara Cusher Law Balignan or Baileyborough if they train they'll yeah. be considered so it's very um they're a young team, but a very committed team. And very, we may not have the best players, and I've said this all along, we, may, we de- ha- definitely haven't got the best players in the county out, but we have the most committed players. Yeah. The girls that want to wear the blue jersey of Cavan, the girls that want to give everything for their, uh, represent their county, they want to represent their club, as I've always said to them, to represent themselves, yeah. to represent their county, their club, and their families. Yeah. And wear the, wear the jersey with pride. It'll come in a few years' time, not that long, when they won't be able to play. And they'll be like me, get too old <laughs> and get grumpy and get out of those what's happening here, there and everywhere. But <laughs> they should enjoy playing. And I think that they are enjoying, enjoying it. Are enjoying it, girls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> they wouldn't give it up in the morning. You know, I yeah. think it's probably something that's, you're kind of, it's it's there and you're not going to, you know, kind of um, lose your passion for the game. And we have some photographs actually from, you know, the Ulster um, final that you, you bet Arma. Mm-hmm. And here we have the the, the girls um, celebrating here at the end. Um, very disappointed the opposition are looking on there, but um, and this is Rosie Crow, the captain, and she also won um, uh, player, player, of the, player of the match for, for that one as well. And you've got Rosie um, and Bridge Boyle, they're dual players. Not only do they no, play Camogie, Rosie, Rosie O'Keefe and. Roshan uh, O'Keefe, is it? Uh, O'Keefe and uh, Rosie Crow are bre- um, are dual players with the county. With the now, Breege was up to this year. Oh, yeah. Breege yeah. is still playing football with her club, but uh, she just got married last year. And she's busy. I, she's a busy woman, and uh, she tra- in fairness, Breege has never missed a training session. She's yeah. travelling up and down to Dublin every day, and she's there first. I won't say first to train, and Philip has always said, we have to wait for Breege before we start, but she's always there at training yeah. and has given unbelievable commitment to the, the Kamoki team this year. Yeah. She's vice captain as well uh, yeah. of the team this year. Fantastic! Know? So she's very committed. I've played against her uh, <laughs> on the football <coughs> field with um, against Butler's Bridge in my time. So um, we've we who's your sponsor, girls? Just let's have a little look at your your jerseys here. Um, yeah. Bridie Rahal. Uh, Bridie Rahal. Rahal is it yeah. coach hire? And where where she, is he from? Bridie is from um, Bellyborough. Bellyborough. Uh, she sponsored the uh, t-shirts for the. Yeah, they're name just coming from work. Yeah. I'm not wearing mine, and. Uh, That's okay. We'll let you wear that this time. And also Donald Next Kyo- time, full kit. Do- <laughs> Donald Ke- Donald Keoghan of the Imperial sponsored wet gear for them, and um, Jim out in Cullis um, filling uh, filling station and the shop out there in Cullis. He has socks sponsored for them as well. Like you know. Right, so you're very lucky with your sponsors, and they're and they're lovely. The jerseys look really great. So, um, coming up now is the uh, um, your n- next game this weekend on Saturday against Monaghan. Um, girls, how are you feeling about that? Since the show, if anyone's about, get out and <coughs> support these girls. Support your Cavan team, the ladies Camogie, and it's only in Stradone, so I mean it's not far away, not far to travel. But how are you feeling about the game? Nicola yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Like, I know it's going to be a very tough game. I think we're missing a few of our players as well. Mm. But definitely looking forward to it and just hoping for the best. No injuries or, you know, with the team. Is there any injuries on the team? Or is no, everyone? there's no. no massive injuries. Yeah, so. that's good. And then, so you have to play these next four or five games and then you have to, to win, you have to, to get through to the next, to the semi-finals. Yeah, so really hope that you, you know, go all the way. Um, 
and I don't think we've any more photos there, Dave, do we? No, that's um so I mean um Marie and yourself, selectors, do you think you're gonna go with the same strategy for the, the game on Saturday or are you gonna change a few things around? Yeah, there's one or two missing uh, one or two girls of work commitments can't get off. Yeah. And Rosie Crow's sister's getting married, so oh, right, okay. again, uh, big losses. But no, look, the girls as there are well capable of stepping in. Uh, they're showing great commitment, as we said all year. And uh, it's definitely you train, you play, and if you show good form, then we'll definitely keep you. But uh, it's not who you are, as I said. It's how good, yeah. Yeah, it's have to be the terms. And uh, Tom, you know, some final words from you. How do you, um, you know, are you hoping to stay with the girls over the next, um, the the rest of the year? Or you'll follow it through, and anyway, oh, no, no, like we have, we said when we take the job, we do it for two years, and uh, right. we'd be good to our word. Uh, we hope to, uh, <laughs> now, girls, if two <laughs> years ahead, if we <laughs> find if we find at uh, any time that the girls are not getting <coughs> the commitment, and yeah. and we're not wanted. We will eat no problem with us. Like we went in there, we went in there to do a job. We set out our stall at the start of the year. Uh, we said after the week log before the week log game, we were taking everything very very serious. We weren't going to be defeated anymore up to the Ulster, and we reassess after the Ulster Championship. We've reached our first goal. Now our goal is to reach at least the semi final, get out of our group, reach the semi final and we'll we'll go that then we'll go for step three, semi final and final after that. So once everyone works together. Work as together a team, and we work we we'll take it step by step. Roma as I said the girls, Rome wasn't built in a day. Um it takes time. Uh we have probably exceeded expectations of a lot of people <coughs> um at the start of the year when this all started. Um we looked at it, and unfortunately, I'm, I had arrangements to be on holidays when the first game after we took over. Philip took the team, informed me he was very, very pleased. Badly beaten, uh, but hadn't been together. Had 15, 16 players uh, that day. Even Marie Brady, um, who was the selector, and we kind of, as Philip's fault anyway, that Marie retired from <laughs> Indra County. Philip <laughs> literally in a lot of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Philip literally <laughs> retired or he said, Thomas, you want to be a selector, she can't play. So we yeah. had a chat with Marie and Marie was willing. Marie has um, has been a great servant to Cavan Camogie through the Absolutely, years. Yeah. And she was only too delighted to let the younger girls take the centre stage and Marie in the background helping out with the selection with Philip and myself and helping out on training at different aspects of training. And she'd go around. She's very well respected. The girls all like her. And mm -hmm. from there... Yeah. Hopefully, uh, this, as I always said to the girls, there's nothing in, in hurling or football like a Celtic Cross. And the Celtic Cross is an All Ireland medal. I was lucky enough, way back too many well, moons ago, to win one. <laughs> and uh, they don't know what it's like, but they will, hopefully, in the next yeah. two years. Well, they're very, luck they're very lucky to have you, um, Tom and Philip. And girls, thank you so much for coming in. And you know, you are a young, up and coming team. And you know, watch this space because. I'm sure these girls are going to do really, really well. We hope to see them in the final. So I'd like to thank um, you very much for coming in. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to you. And we'll hopefully have you in again and we'll have some results. So that brings to an end all about sport for this week from Top of the Town Studios in Conley Street, Cavan. I will be back again next Wednesday evening at the same time on cavantv.com. Thank you to all our contributors on the programme this evening, Lacken GFC and the Cavan Ladies Camogie team. All About Sport was produced by Brian Daly and Michael Goldrick and the show is directed by David Van Standen. And if you want your sport featured on the show, simply contact drumlamedia at gmail.com. So stay with CavanTV.com as up next is our weekly music show, The Green Room, presented by the gorgeous Paul Cox. So until next Wednesday at 7, it's goodbye from me, Louise O'Reilly.